Hello everyone, this is Brent here with Production Expert and in today's video we're going to be having a look at what's new with Luna version 1.1. The three most notable additions to Luna are track groups, session views and the MIDI clock output and we're going to begin with looking at them now. So with the introduction of the session view, this means that you can now bookmark and save different areas of the production and different milestones within that session. And it's really easy to do. All we have to do is actually save as a new version, and then we can actually view these later on in this open session version. Now, if we open this up, I already have a couple of sessions here. And from here, we can have a look at different bookmarks and different sessions, and we can also give them different notes. So this could be really helpful if you're doing a session with other musicians and you want to recall a state where they were both there. You can go back, listen to it, and then progress from that milestone. We can also make little changes along the way using bookmarks. Now to do this with a Mac, we just have to hit Command S, and then we can save a bookmark, and we'll just say vocal change. We'll leave a note. Um, 3 dB boost and change to comp slash EQ just for a rough idea. Now when we go back into the session version, we'll also have that bookmark there and we can save that within each different session. Another new feature in version 1.1 in Luna is the addition of groups. Now groups are super simple to work with in Luna and it can all be done with just a couple of simple key commands. So I have a texture loop and a full loop here. One is uh, more hi-hats and percussion and one is kicks and snares. If I want to group them, all I have to do is hit command and G and then we have a group setting panel on the site here. Now I'm just going to call this drums. And it's as simple as that. We now have a drum selection at the bottom. Now we can suspend these groups by doing shift command G and it then breaks up that group and we have individual control again. And then we can come down here and also toggle them manually so I can select the groups on from here. Now, if you want to add something to a group that wasn't previously in that group, it's also really simple. We just go to the track and we can either right click and create a new group or we can add it to that existing group or even easier, we can just get the track and drag it down to the group here. And the final biggest feature that's been added to this update is the MIDI clock output. Now, the MIDI clock output now has its own settings panel. So if we just click the UA logo in the top left-hand corner, come down to settings, and where you'd usually find hardware, etc., you now see this MIDI menu. So I have a couple of devices here, and there's a couple of different modes for how you can sync these depending on what it is. So if you are using something in song mode, the time will follow along in sync door mode, whereas if you're using pattern mode, it's more of a start and stop relationships. So you want to use the pattern mode for things like groove boxes and external hardware, whereas you want to use the song mode for linking it up with other digital audio workstations. We also have some delay compensation here, and this has over 200 milliseconds of clock offset for transmission and external device latency. So you shouldn't have any problems here in syncing up different applications, even if there is some latency issues. So to summarize and recap, the new features in version 1.1 are the session and bookmarks, group tracks, and the MIDI clock.